I know I've been to this store already once, but let's try it again. All right, let's see what they've got. Ghostbusters plasma series that's warming everywhere. In terms of legends, they got a Black Widow, Squirrel Girl, Rage, Marvel, Spy Master. So, nothing. There's no G.I. Joes or anything like that here. Skipjack and Scrapper. Not a whole lot. Okay, here we are at a Walgreens in Orange, California. Okay, so this one has a really small toy section. And it doesn't look like we're going to have a whole lot here either, so. Game Reverse, White Rabbit, small old WWE figures, some Dragon Stars, some Transformers, nothing special. But yeah, so this one's real small and real bad. They got these new things, all the Walgreens have been getting these. These are super generic looking figures with limited articulation. So that is it for this one. And it's all pretty empty too. And here's a Walmart in Orange, California. And then I'm gonna hit a Target that's basically across the street. Okay, so here at that Walmart, and this is actually some decent stuff, so check this out. This is the NECA Comic-Con exclusive, or what should have been Comic-Con, where the box lights, box lights up. That is actually pretty cool. It looks like they've got two, three of them, four of them. They got the King Kong with the funky eyes. Look at that. That other one I like a lot more, but that's cool. This thing is really cool, though. That is awesome. I was hoping maybe I would see a Super Shredder, but no Super Shredder here. But that's really cool. Okay, so actually over in the actual action figure aisle, same old WWE stuff that we see, but Rick Rude. Rick Rude. And then there's Rick Rude thrown over there too, so um, it's kind of a lot. They're, all three are the regular, not the chase at all. Um, you know, I don't think I saw Series 110 Basic anywhere before. So there's Mike Canellas, who was let go at the pandemic. So I haven't seen this wave at all anywhere. Not that it matters, but there's Liv Morgan. That eye looks jacked up. Look at that weird eye. What the hell's going on there? They got another one, though. Let's see how that one looks. Way better. So, that's cool. First time seeing those anywhere. My area, this area. At least it's a change up from what I normally see. But look at that. Completely empty section over there. There's no DC Multiverse stuff here. There's no Legends anywhere at all. I don't even know where they would be. So all these Walmarts are all pretty jacked looking. It's pretty bad. Oh, well, there's some more WWE up top there too. But not a whole lot. Okay, this Target was across the street from that Walmart where I saw the NECA Predator. So maybe I'll get lucky here in Orange, California. So looking down the way, I see a U-boat with repack boxes. Never know. Okay, so looking at the NECA section, they got the uh, Mutant. The musical mutagen tour they got some of the, the the swag kits some godzillas and whatnot they got dc multiverse lots of wonder woman wonder woman there wonder woman there wonder woman right there as well there's nothing in the aisles it's actually a pretty small toy section i don't even think they have um baroness there's not even a spot for it but i did see a sith jet trooper which is weird just because i haven't seen this in a very long time so Pretty interesting. Once that aisle clears out over there, I'll get some video of it. So this toy section is really small. You can see it's only from here to here, whereas normal store would be a whole entire aisle. But look at this, Zori Bliss and Luke, of course. Got some 40th anniversary Han and Leia, but not a whole lot else going here. Some wrestlers, same ones that we see everywhere. They got Greg the Hammer Valentine. That is not the chase one though. But again, this was kind of the only find. I'm not gonna be picking that up or anything, but that I thought that was interesting. It's actually on the end cap where the Galaxy's Edge figures would be, but there was no Galaxy's Edge figures. Oh, looking at these, I don't think that Remy one's come out yet because I've never seen it. I don't need to be on the lookout for my daughter, but pretty, pretty much a bust here. 
Okay, so here's actually that toy aisle. So you see some Transformers sound wave. Is this new? Ooh, this might be new. This sound wave number 62 in the $20 one, which is the deluxe class. Yeah, that has to be new, right? Yeah, pretty sure that's new. Turns into the satellite or whatever, right? So there is something new as far as Transformers. DC Multiverse, they got the exclusive animated series one. Azrael, that's the first time I've seen it actually in a store. So that's kind of cool. As far as Legends, same Legends we see everywhere else. Video game stuff, and you can see there's no spot for Baroness at all. But we do have a spot for the regular G.I. Joe. Mayfly was a roadblock, right? And then I'm not sure what that was supposed to be or what maybe that was supposed to be. But that's it. Okay, a little bit of an update. I didn't want to do a full hunt video here because I'm just here to pick up a couple of things at night. But the same Garden Grove Target. I've already been to two other times, but check this out. Finally, some clearance. Some Star Wars clearance. It's about time. Because, damn, those Janas, the Luke Skywalkers, and the Zori Blisses everywhere. It's about time they finally go down in price. But look at that. A couple of Billy Kays. I didn't see this before. Look at a Jeff Hardy. That's kind of cool, Elite 75 Jeff Hardy. This wasn't around the other day, so pretty cool. But again, no, nothing new on Legends, no G.I. Joe, Transformers, Multiverse, none of that. Okay, so I'm at that same Garden Grove Target, and I happen to see that they got a new case of DC Multiverse, the Arkham Asylum uh, Batman and Joker figure. So we're going to take a look, see if they got that bronze Joker that's limited to 3,000. Uh, nope, that's a regular Joker, Wonder Woman Joker. <laughs> Look at that. Limited to 3,000 worldwide. This is now the second that I have found myself um, in stores. So I'm going to grab that. Bronze Joker. This is now the second one I have. Pretty exciting about it. But look at that. One's jacked up right there. But still really cool to find another one decent little target run and done okay so after that target where i found that bronze joker i'm feeling hot man i'm feeling hot so i'm at a santa and a walmart it's nine o'clock at night let's see if we can find any good stuff that's about to get stocked um, because none of these walmarts have had shit on the shelves so let's see if there's some some stuff in boxes on pallets or something that we can find so let's check it out all right i'm walking in the aisle a bunch of the child some WWE stuff and a lot of basics. They got those Masters of the WWE Universe stuff and nothing really else. AEW ring and title. Bunch of other generic stuff. Let's see. Oh shit, here we go. So Batman Earth 32. I don't know which one is this. This is Batman Dark Knight's Metal. I don't remember what this one's name was. Uh, but funny story with that one of my buddy Plastic Soul Collector and his neighbor. We Photoshop something. It's just the funniest thing ever. So um, that is a good find. So I'm going to grab both of these. One for my buddy. One for me. Because I'm liking these metals figures. These Batmans. Oh, check this out. So now I'm finding all the good stuff. It's about time. So Jada Nano Metal Figures. This G.I. Joe set. That is pretty cool. So we got Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, Duke, Baroness, Destro, Storm Shadow. There's a few of those hanging on the pegs. I'll probably grab one or two. That's pretty cool. We got a lot of Ghostbusters Plasma series because look, they're up there as well. All kinds of stuff. Fortnite. That's cool. We got a bunch of Skeletors. We got the uh, McFarland stuff, the Raw 10 figures. Some Transformers, the Netflix ones. We got a scavenger for um, the uh, Constructicons. Power Rangers Lightning, nothing new, but they do have a Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, so that's cool. But as far as Marvel Legends Black Series, there's nothing here. Look at that, lots of pegs, empty pegs and stuff. Oh, shit. I don't know how I missed that. Check that out. There is a Legacy, not Legacy, Lightning Collection Morpher here. So that is actually pretty cool because I know those ones have been pretty hard to find. We got a Cygor there too. So 
kind of nice that I came to this spot tonight because there's some pretty decent stuff here. So looking around, nothing as far as Star Wars, but pretty good stuff. Got lucky. Last stop for the night. This is Walmart Westminster. This is the same one that in my last video was next to a Costco. Um, so I'm having some luck with the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse. Let's try our luck and see if we can come across some more. So here we go. So this store was a bust. Um, went to the toy aisle and there was a couple of people in the toy aisle. So I really couldn't get any video, but there was nothing new there. As far as anything, there was one pallet out, but nothing new on there. Uh, now I'm in electronics looking at their NECA section to see if they have anything and there's there's nothing. So last stop, I guess my luck had to run out at some point, right? So that's how it goes. So that's it tonight. This is uh, Garden Grove. Okay, so no DC Multiverse here. As you can see, it's very bare and empty. I got that Skeletor over there. Netflix Transformers. But this one ain't got nothing. I kind of rushed over here for no reason. This seems to be popping up in a lot of the Walmarts. The Basic Series 110. The Mike Kanellis. Wait a second. I just saw this at the other store. I don't think he had the red. Is there a chase figure of this one? There might be, and I just didn't pay attention and I have no idea. Who knows? No Star Wars figures. Nothing. This one's really, really, really bare. Hot Wheels, they got that Spider-Man and Venomized Hulk two-pack. Um, none of the Marvel character cars or anything anywhere. So, not a whole lot. Wasted trip. So, oh well, I'll look for pallets. They don't even have pallets of toys out here. So, um, nothing. Oh well.